Hello. Getting started playing a band instrument is basically learning a series of habits. I hope that by watching this short video, you will learn good habits when it comes to assembling your trumpet, playing with correct hand and finger placement, and sitting and standing with correct posture. Please feel free to watch this video as many times as you want to make sure that you have these basic steps down correctly. You can pause or rewind the video as many times as you'd like. When opening the trumpet case, make sure that the case is not upside down. On most cases, latches will open up when the case is in the correct position, like this. A quick lesson on what the different parts of the trumpet are called will help you understand the steps we are about to learn. The trumpet is made up of the bell, three valves, first valve, the first valve is the one closest to the mouthpiece, second valve, one in the middle, and the third valve. There are tuning slides for each of the valves. Here's the first valve tuning slide, second, and third. The main tuning slide for the trumpet is here. lead pipe, the mouthpiece, and a rest for your little finger. Assembling the trumpet is very easy. After you take the trumpet out of the case, hold it in your left hand like this. Take the mouthpiece in your right hand and place the mouthpiece in the lead pipe until it stops. Now twist the mouthpiece onto the trumpet in a clockwise motion, like you're screwing the mouthpiece on. Apply some pressure on the mouthpiece as you're turning. Usually the mouthpiece will come to a stop after about half a turn. You don't have to turn the mouthpiece on too tight. Screw it on only until it stops. To remove the mouthpiece, unscrew the mouthpiece in a counterclockwise direction. Turning the mouthpiece on and off in this manner helps the mouthpiece from becoming stuck. However, you should know that all trumpet players get their mouthpieces stuck occasionally. If your mouthpiece becomes stuck, you should take it to your band director to have it removed. Your band director has a tool called a mouthpiece remover that he or she will use to remove the mouthpiece. This is what a mouthpiece remover looks like. Do not use a pair of pliers to remove your mouthpiece. Pliers will almost always damage your mouthpiece, and it can also damage your trumpet. Most elementary school students hold their trumpet incorrectly. Always remember that it is the job of the left hand to hold the trumpet, and the job of the right hand to push the valves down. The left hand looks like this. The third finger on your left hand, that's the one closest to your little finger, goes into the ring that's attached to the third valve tuning slot. So it goes like this. The thumb on the left hand wraps around the other side of the trumpet where the first valve is. The first and second finger on your left hand go next to the third valve, and the little finger wraps around next to the ring that's attached to the third valve tuning slide. So this is what it looks like. And remember, the left hand holds the trumpet, not the right hand. The right hand position on the trumpet is a little more of a challenge because of the little finger. Most people put their right hand little finger inside the ring that is attached to the lead pipe. This is incorrect. The little finger should be above floating above the ring at all times. There are two times when you do want to put your finger in the ring. One is when you are using a mute and you have to hold the trumpet entirely with the right hand and your left hand is using a mute in front. And the other time is when you have to make a quick page turn with the left hand. 
but 95% of the time you are going to have your little finger above the lead pipe. The hand position for the right hand goes like this. The thumb is placed in between the first and second valve with the lead pipe resting on the upper part of the thumb like this. The fingers are arched over the valves with your first finger over the first valve, the second finger over top of the second valve, and the third finger over the third valve. Notice the little finger is above the finger rest, floating in the air. This hand position allows you to move your fingers up and down fast when you need to play faster notes. Correct sitting posture is important. Students with poor posture can't take a breath correctly, which results in the person playing with a poor tone that is also out of tune. Your playing posture also says a lot about how you feel about playing your instrument. Students with poor posture usually have a poor attitude about their playing. Always sit with your feet flat on the floor, not under your chair, like this. Sit on the front half of your chair with about six inches between your back and the chair. Sit up straight with your arms at a 45 degree angle as they hold the trumpet. Try to keep your trumpet parallel to the floor or down just a little bit. This is what it should look like. Parallel to the floor or down a little bit. Here's the 45 degree angle on your arms. Standing to play the trumpet is very similar to sitting. Keep the same posture as you had when sitting from the waist up, like this. Keep the feet a shoulder's length apart and the knees should not be locked. Stay relaxed with your posture, but not lazy. Your band director will cover how to make the proper sound on your instrument during class. Remember, learning to play your instrument is learning a series of habits. Do your best to learn good habits from the very beginning. Good habits equal good fun for you and the rest of the students in your class. Good luck.